Feels like love. Cupid made a shot. We are truly living in the future. This week I found an app called Get Wardrobe, which says that it can help you to choose your clothes using an AI. You enter all of your clothes into the app, and as long as you have at least 15 pieces of clothing listed, it allows you to automatically create outfits. What do you think? Will a robot be better at choosing my clothes than I am? Luckily, if the robot fails, the app also has social features so that I can rely on the work of other stylists. I am going to wear whatever this app thinks looks good on me, uh, at least for a minute in my closet, but if I have to take it off because I have to go out and I don't want to look crazy, that could happen. Well, here goes a week of my life. <laughs> Let's get started. The first outfit looks like a lot of things I've worn in the past, but I've never worn it with these boots. There was no jacket included in the outfit, but I put one on because it was negative two degrees outside and I don't want to freeze to death in a sweater. This one has cat ears, so I felt it fit the theme. The outfit it generated also had a pair of tights worn as pants, which I didn't do because A, I hate that, and B, they're too cold. I look like I was going on a trip to Japan, but I still wanted Japan to know that I was from Toronto. I look like the star of an action film that first kicks your ass and then is like, <laughs> Feels good though, like it feels really comfortable. I've actually never worn these jeans because I couldn't think of a way to style them, so, uh... <laughs> because I never thought of like wearing boots that make my jeans look like they end at the ground. <laughs> I feel kind of like my shoes start here and they end like nowhere, but it's fine. It's fine, it feels normal, I like it. It is a good excuse to wear my like dark purple lipstick for once, so. I might wear it again. I look like Riff Randall on her way to Ramones concert, but I doubt any of you have seen that classic film, Rock and Roll High School. Rock, 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 rock and roll high school. Rock, 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 rock and roll high school. I just wanna get some chicks. Uh, what? How's that song go? Rock and roll high school, rock, 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 rock and roll high school. I look like Joey Ramone. I was iffy about this one. Ripped jeans? It was negative digits outside. I feel like we had something here, but we definitely like lost it with the sweater. Uh, and it's a bit too cold for the negative two degree weather, so I'm just gonna try again. Right, how about some oversized sweater action with this oversized shirt? I like where this is going, but it feels unbalanced because the jeans and the boots are too dark. But I think I can fix it. I'm not really feeling it as a fit, but I feel like it's at least better than it was. I'm going to throw on some white shoes or white boots and try to make this work. Maybe yes, maybe no. Okay, I don't know. This would have made a half decent casual cosplay. I'm kind of regretting using this hat for nothing but button storage now. First of all, in the level of sun that we have now, this outfit is a bit um, blinding. When I look down, I cannot even see my shoes. Your hair is looking great this morning. Oh God. It's like it's standing up straight, but each individual strand is a separate, is a separate issue of its own. It's an entity. It felt okay when I was wearing it, but now that I'm voicing it over, I can see the many places where this outfit went wrong. It would definitely look better without the tights underneath and on a warmer day. Trying to make this outfit work for cold weather didn't work at all. I don't know if this is the most fantastic outfit for a coffee shop, but I'm just going to roll with it.
was excited to wear this one and thought I'd feel like a rock star in it. All these black clothes are triggering my working in retail trauma. Didn't know what hit me when we started. I was shaking electric, trying to stay calm and collected. On that summer afternoon, we were shining like a gem in the sunlight. It's not what I would choose to wear. I feel like it needs something it doesn't have, maybe like a pink belt. And it's also asking me to wear those boots that just extend my jeans again. I just feel like we can do better. I don't think wearing this out in public is gonna be a thing that I do, so let's try the next one. These pieces would be really cute together on a warmer day. Lucky for me, the next outfit requires a pair of jeans that I can just put on over these jeans. It's asking me to wear one of my colorful windbreakers, but I basically put these in as the same one, so I'm not sure which one it wants for this outfit, the cropped one or the long one. But either way, actually, I'm going to save this one because I'm using it for a video next week, which has an Encanto theme, and that is the only clue you're getting. I'm going to an antique store today. We're going to be looking for stuff for our summer festival booth, so does this say antiquing? No. Is it cute? Yes. I can absolutely see me grabbing a couple of my, like, fluorescent pink you know, uh, hair ties and or a giant scrunchie or something and just going all completely 80s on this. It would be really cute with my white tennis shoes. I just, it is not a spring outfit. It won't work for today. How many of my jeans can I seriously wear over each other? I feel like I could get my period jeans on, on top of these mom jeans. All right, so good to know. If I'm ever homeless, I can definitely just put all of my jeans on and, uh, and leave and I'll be fine. I can just wear all of my clothes all at once. Good to know. You know what? This app taught me something that if I ever spend too much money on clothes and become homeless, I can at least take, I can at least take my clothes to the shelter. Ah! I thought this video would go differently. I thought it would be better than it is. A lot of the outfits I got were just completely crazy like this one. I might be able to put this next pair of pants on over these as well. These jeggings. I'm not sure because they've got a really small waist, but it's also really high. So I feel like it'll just go over the waist of these. The next outfit is these pants, this shirt, and I don't remember. I'm going to go check. This is a choice and it is not a choice I would make. First of all, these pants with these boots is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. Second of all, this outfit looks like when your mom makes you wear your brother's hand-me-downs as a kid. I do wear this ja dress as a jacket quite often, but the, the, this, 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 this is not okay. I don't even, I, I do not have words for how bad this is. What I would normally do if I was going to wear these pants, which obviously I do wear these, I own these pants, I wear them all the time, um, is obviously not, I would not wear <laughs> this we'll wear this today but i'm going to style it with a cord jacket an oversized cord jacket and uh my black boots and then we will go antiquing i mean sure it looks a bit my dad's in the military and we move every year but i'm happy with it compared to what i started with it was still too cold outside even for that so i paired all of this with my favorite oversized Calvin Klein sweater and it all worked out. I've definitely worn these pieces together before, but not with this coat. I had this issue a lot where pieces that only go with a certain specific style were suggested with clothes that obviously they don't fit the style of. This jacket, for example, was suggested a lot. What are we doing here? Are we doing kawaii? Are we doing urban? I can do either one. Uh, but this, <laughs> this is not that. And honestly, my body is so not ready for my summer clothes yet. I think I can fix it. I just don't know which way to fix it. Are we go, you know what? I want to wear my Satan center coat today. So we're going to go urban. 
Feels like love Cupid made a shot Straight into my heart Now I'm falling fast and my world's expanding that turned out to be too revealing and too cold, so I ended up wearing basically what I was wearing on day two. By this point, I was getting really bored of the same pieces getting suggested over and over. Especially when it was summer pieces being suggested in negative 12 degree weather, or specialty pieces like my Kiki's Delivery Service bag, which I love, but I don't want to use it that often because I love it so much. My winter coats were only suggested twice, once in a weird mismatch with a really long sweater and the second time in an unusual clash with a bright pink top. And once again, it included my favorite combo, the really long boots and the really black pants. I will take any excuse to wear one of my painted denim jackets, but is this the right one? I had high hopes for this one because it involves my denim jacket and I love this jacket because I've painted the back. But while the denim top and jeans together looks good on some people, on me it looks like the Canadian tuxedo, the entire trailer park, a giant piece of trash, someone who didn't know how to get dressed this morning. It's really an embarrassment to the adorableness of this jacket. Again, I feel like I've got a start of an outfit, but nothing that's really gonna work together. This one looks incredibly cute and I have super high hopes for it. You know, some of these outfits are like five minute crafts. They look really great on paper, but then you put it on and you're like, why? I definitely look like the girl who would play me in the movie of my life um, if it were produced by Joss Whedon and Netflix. So the doctor called. Oh yeah, what did he say? He says you have a rare and horrible disease that'll kill you in a matter of days. It's so bad, honestly, I'm so sad about it. Also, Joss Whedon offered to direct the Netflix special of your life. Get the B-roll! Am I going to leave the house in this? No. Am I going to leave the closet in this? Also no. I am gonna me this outfit up so I can get going. I don't know if the app just wasn't counting on how short this skirt is or the fact that there's a hole in it right here, but we ain't wearing this. Better. Oh yeah. So once this lady saw me pulling my skirt down and pulling my skirt down because it was too short, and she said, if you don't feel comfortable in something, you'll never be comfortable in it. I can wear a lot of different things and they do look good on me, but they don't feel good on me. They don't feel like me. Who I am, my clothes, nobody can choose that for me. Nobody can define that for me. The app can get close. It can give me a lot of ideas and help me to decide what I might want to wear that day. It can't make my decisions for me. Only I can do that, but it's a great tool to help me on the way. I learned so much about what I had and the different ways that I could put it together. And so the biggest, most important thing I learned this week is that maybe I should take a look in my own closet before I go shopping. Feels like love, Cupid made a shot, straight into my heart. Now I'm falling fast and my world's expanding Feels like love Even though we're kinda nervous Together we'll be strong I don't know for sure all I know